um, SSL because the last time that I read on um, read through, right, I am not seeing right where the prime minister from any of his accounts, um, Ratti and uh, Maria, where money would have, you know, um, taken out of the prime minister account and go into SSL. I'm not seeing that situation, but I'm seeing where SSL. The Prime Minister is getting uh, money from SSL. Okay. Yeah. If you uh, look right here, you see where it says? Yes. In the bold, during 2019, I in cash, because they're asking him where to get the money from for buy the bond, right? That's yes. the question. It's right here. Mr. Holness was asked to indicate to the Commission the source of funding for the placement of the bond. An explanation was provided by way of letter dated September 2023, 2020. And here's what he said. During 2019, I in cash the total balance accrued in my U.S. repo account generated from interest payments from bonds at stocks and securities limited stop stop right there so because i'm big trouble tonight you know big big, <laughs> big trouble tonight right now let me just read um the underlying portion again during 2019 i encashed the total balance occurred in my u.s repo account generated from interest payment from the bank people of jamaica locally i want you to understand this what the prime minister is saying right as it relates to 2019 generated from interest payment from bonds at stocks and security limited now we're catching with it we're catching with hands in the cookie jar now, Rati and Maria, you tell me <laughs> this and that what the Prime Minister said. SSL, Rati, wasn't doing any investment. Yeah. So all the yeah, Prime right. have gotten return on his investment. Interest payments, right. No, look here. I want to show the entire world, listen up. I want to show the entire world this, and this is why I come I come back here in terms of what Andrew Ones is saying right here. Open quote. During 2019, I encashed the total balance occurred in my US dollars repo account in bracket, open and close bracket. What, what does that mean? Generated from interest payment from bonds at stocks and security limited let me stop right here so people ssl right was not doing legitimate investment based on the investigation ssl were actually stealing investors money they weren't investing so I asking Andrew Owens, and Ratty, I want you to tell me if I am asking, you understand, irrelevant question. If SSL was doing any um, legitimate investment, Ratty, how would the Prime Minister return the end return on his investment? <laughs> Uh, can something go so? <laughs> what can what go so? Can go, what can go so? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What Crazy. can go so? No, the Prime Minister, the Prime Minister has to do this. And this is one of the reasons why FID, the Prime Minister is going to be in a big trouble. Bangor. Because if the Prime Minister is saying that um this is one of his source of funds right well this is a big lie so then if ssl right was not doing any legitimate investment how could that the prime minister getting money out of um ssl and the question now ratty how much did the prime minister put in um ssl that that we need to find out 
That we need to find out. And we don't we don't see exactly. that in the report. You, you see him getting money from SSL, but there's nothing about when he deposited when and how many how much did he deposit into SSL? You know, but think about this in a right together mystic is that starting at 2021 do the statutory declaration is not going to show you a full picture it has to go all the way back to 2007 exactly to fully ventilate his statutory declaration and get a full picture as to how it the source you know how it his lifestyle is being financed the source of income because 2021 is is you, it's like you're starting in the middle of something well look at look at the second entry on this on this page here yes zero five zero nine two thousand and nineteen mm -hmm. payment from stocks and security limited via first global bank US US dollars check thirty thousand dollars us thirty thousand dollars this don't make no sense Look further down. Um, 059 but you're 31. Oh, that one day. You're come here, here come here, Jamaica. <laughs> come here, Jamaica. What are the ratty? Come here, Jamaica. Jamaica. <laughs> Lord Jesus. A bundle on us tonight. No, sir. But that, 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 do you look at that? But also, also. <laughs> What you know, um with, with between S positive media and estate bridge, the amount of money that was passing through between positive media and estate bridge between 2020 and 2023, June 2023, 473 million and 427 million dollars. This right. is what is he? Is he a businessman or the prime minister? Yeah, right. we draw something, yeah. But Mara, let me ask one um a question here because now cause I look at trouble tonight, you know. Cause I look at trouble tonight. So if the Prime Minister get them the breed of money they will tell SSA, we don't know how him, we don't know we don't see no form of trap, no evidence as it relates to him putting in um money into SSL, right? To get um whatever return on investment. So if the Prime Minister get that, how much you cross carry get? Right. I remember now, this is 2019, you know, because the one let me show you before, um, it's 2019 to him say, uh, this, he tried to start stocks and security, right? It's 2019. So here is the 2019 one we might talk about. So now 2019, him get party, what's that, 72, 73 thousand dollars, US dollars. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. It's got 75. Mm -hmm. no. This is both in the same day, Ratigan. You know, it's the same day. Yes, same day. May, May 9, yeah. May 9, 2019. Both the yeah. same day. Yes. Yes. What what currency was this? NCB account. US the Foundation. Oh, oh yeah, you was in the middle. A hundred thousand a month before. The month before. No. Yeah. And what is this on Ratty? See it here. The same day, right? You have a you have a thirty thousand two hundred and nineteen dollars eighteen cents, right? US, US, but we make people know say US. Yeah, but but for that, but for but but, but hold up a second. For the for May four, okay, no, April four, sorry, April nine, April 9. May nine, okay, so April nine, May nine, May nine, May. So you have three, three transaction in the same day. And you have one for um, no, I think two, it for SSL, two for SSL and one for Bank of. Uh, I'm sorry. I think it's the September the day, oh, September. Yep, yeah, I'm reading it the other way. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, so it is September fourth and September fifth. So two days and all these transactions in US dollars because you have National Commercial Bank, you have Bank of Nova Scotia, and then you have SSL through Global Bank. Yeah. It's sad, you know. This is crazy. This is really crazy. This is this, this is really crazy. It is um, eighty eight. Uh, 
or C price of 5.8.82. Yes. Well, Consequent on the above, the, the director of investigation deemed it necessary to examine the 2019 statutory declaration sub submitted by Mr. Holness, which reflects an investment of $94,000 with NCBCM. He gave the source of funds for this investment as accumulated bank balances and withdrawals from investments held with SSL in the name ADMAT Incorporated. Oh my God. Look here. Look here. The Prime Minister Trump himself. This is very serious for the Prime Minister. I am telling the Prime Minister that. With confidence, with great confidence, the Prime Minister shot himself right here. Sir. And that is one of the reasons why I see the Parliament and everybody who mix up in the corruption, you understand, they try to protect the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister cannot be protected. This information here that we are getting, that we are looking on, the Jamaican people need to ask, Andrew Holness and the parliament, right? SSL wasn't doing any form of legitimate investment. So how could it be that the prime minister get return on his investment? People think what we are saying here. Right. The is here. Is that something we are making up? But yeah. that, that, that is one thing. This what one is the source of this man's income? That is where you're getting all this money from. You see, you see, and, and this is what I don't understand. You, know, you see the money going, and it's the millions of dollars you're talking about. And I'm like, where, what is the source? You can, there's no black and white. There's no, there's no way to connect the dots. Right. Okay. You I want, don't know. Hold on. I'll show you something about, about, I'll show you something about source. Hold on. Take a, take a look at this, right? One, when you say this, you're going, you're going uh, well, people who haven't seen it, they're going to feel it. Hold on. I just want to show you. A bank account where I'm have. Oh, hold on. Let me pass this. Hold on. Yes, Give me a second. Give me a second. There's a, there's a, there's a, there is a, a, like a bank statement, like a chart with some, 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 um, some accounts. Um, somewhere in the, in the 50s. Yeah, it's a come up. It's a, it's a, yeah. Five, one, four. No. Byron. Yes. And Marie. Sit, well, sis, see, see, already. Everybody in the chat. Look on this Citibank account right there. So, this is what will kill him, you know, because I touch the American banking system, you know. This is a problem. Look on it. Look, look. It's a last. Let me see that. Hold on. See there. Citibank. At the, at, right. From, second from the bottom. Look how much yeah, money money in that account there. The 713,000. US dollars. US dollars. Yes. Right. Look at, look at the, look at the, look at the, um, look at the second one from the top. That's U.S. dollars, though. Sixty-seven thousand. Yes, and then there's another U.S. account right here. Um, look at the one right here for fifty-one thousand. The last yeah. one, mm. that is a U.S. account. So, so right, let me ask you a question. <laughs> wait, 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 let me ask you a question. So. As it relates to um, the Prime Minister company, what sort of business that the Prime Minister, Prime Minister company uh, companies are doing in terms of attracting profit? Let me answer that question. Well, Admat was supposed to be a holding company, right? So Admat never make widgets, never involved in anything. Them claims it was a holding company. Yes. Admat, Admat transferred its assets to Imperium. Imperium yeah. started out being a construction company and then suddenly changed to assets. Okay. Changed to an asset thing. And then him take the own, him take fee 99 and give to him son. Then you have um with him um no, no Imperium and still have Imperium. It's it's um positive uh media. Positive, positive media, media and yes. Him son have positive him used to have positive media and him claims a positive media used to do media thing but it was media thing during covid when nobody now do nothing with the media and they make money and them claim say they make money and them claim say them file nil tax and yet still the 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 the, the, the director of investigation found out that they make something like about 20 million or something like that and he said then how you make 20 million and you say you don't make any money you not make pension income and you yeah. file no taxes 
And the same thing they found with um, Estate Bridge. And they found it, they found it with three companies. Estate, I think Estate Bridge, mm -hmm. Imperial, and, and Emerald Green, something like that. Yeah, so they Emerald Green. Emerald Green. Mm -hmm. This one was busy being a banker instead of being a prime minister, you know. But he has to be shuffling. He has to be. Sit, he has to sit down at night time and be going through his all, all these twenty eight accounts to check the balances and what came in and what went out and what is coming in tomorrow. I mean, you you, you look at it and you know sometimes we, we laugh at it, but it is so serious but because Mary, what, is, what job does he really have? Is it is he a businessman moonlighting as a as a prime minister or is he a prime minister moonlighting as, as a businessman? Because it do, none of this makes any sense. Okay, so none Mary, of this. This, this is crazy. This is crazy. But what we are talking about here, we need to make the people understand. We are talking about some shell companies that, that Patrick Bailey set up um, for Andrew Owens and, 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 and other members of parliament. Now, these shell companies, these shell companies. Keep huh? No, keep talking. Keep talking. I'm these looking for companies are not, are not company, they are shell companies. So they, they don't operate in terms of okay like an ordinary company who is operating for profit like said Trent brothers then who's who, 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 who's selling um hardware stuff and so forth and you know they are making a profit you know based on you know based on the market you know buy and sell and or, or whatever right what sort of situation has it related to admat right um um, we call it Emerald, Imperium, and Estate Bridge. Because there's no physical structure, no business. You don't have there. no physical structure. We are people employed. This is crazy. People, this is crazy. So the Prime Minister is in a conundrum. And then, you know, it, the, the, earth, the most hurtful thing of this right, is the Prime Minister want to use might to be done right? So let us ask. So Rati, I want to ask a question. To the fact that the Prime Minister is the subject of this particular in, um, investigation. Rati, under normal circumstances in terms of in a democratic country and the purpose of democracy, isn't that the Prime Minister need to take away himself? Yeah. So not to be, interfere or interrupt the, right the, um, the investigation? That would be the right thing to do. Now, look at this. This is the one that Sis was mentioning, right? All, all, the, all the money I've got between the three companies, right? Three companies yes. in Estate Bridge, Imperium, I'm positive media. Look at the bottom. Look how much money the, the pass between the, the three companies. Look at the so bottom. The three million. Yeah. yeah. And with million. Look at look at some of these deposits. Look at the first deposit. 145 million. Okay. So what you see there, um, and, and, there and there's a one forty eight million two from NCP in um account ending six 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 Imperium one forty eight million see it right there, NCB and look at what the withdrawal right after that one forty one hundred and fifty million yeah. because mm -hmm. State Bridge the first one twenty million was with twenty twenty million seven hundred sixty seven sixty seven hundred sixty six thousand was withdrawn. And, and you look at these things and you ask the question, really, Mr. Prime Minister? And this is just for the, for, this is what, 2020 to June, what year? Three to years. June 13, three years. Yeah. 20 to 2023, three years. And this uh, is the Prime right. Minister doing exceptionally and well. And here, and, here, and here we're only talking about eight accounts and it's 28 accounts a month. This is just eight accounts right here. So where's the money coming from? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Rati, um, school up a little bit. Okay. What what it here? What it what it Chamber 16 internet work deposit and withdrawals by bank account from 2020 um June to 13, 2023. 
Let us start this. Let us let us start. Let us reason here. Yeah. The prime minister take three years, right? Within these three years, to amass go down the bottom right here. To amass okay, two hundred and seventy three million dollars. Three years. The prime minister pay. The prime minister income. Right. Oh, and so, remember now, you know. Remember now, you know. All of them companies are pay zero taxes. Them say they don't make no money. Yes. The prime minister salary is what they are. Nine million dollars. Nine million. <laughs> what on them? It's a bang around you know. So three years. So, but, yeah, go ahead. The prime minister doesn't. If the prime if twenty-seven, if the prime minister, if the prime minister don't use one cent from out of his salary for the three years, the prime minister, the prime minister um salary would um twenty-seven million. Rati, the prime minister salary would be twenty-seven million for the three years between twenty between twenty 2020 twenty and twenty twenty-three. Yeah. Now we are looking at the Prime Minister generating $473 million. Now, between those three um, years, where did the Prime Minister get this money from? Now, look at, look at, look at, look at the withdrawal. The Prime Minister withdraw $427 million, Right? What might be, by me just looking at it, would have uh, roughly... Um, a remaining balance of my about um forty something million. Um, but um, but there. Now I am asking, where did where did this money also go? Where did that yeah. money go? When, when start the instant when, uh, when you read when you go through it, you see where one company alone, so they have no money, but they alone want another company some money, and then the same company will get the loan. Start loan some more money to another company, and it just so them start move the money around inside of the three companies. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on here. <laughs> uh, let, let me just let, let, let me just give this to the people because what it looks like to Narati, and, and and let me just put it to you. This to me also resemble tendencies of money laundering. Now, this way we look at here, Rati. Tendency of money laundering. Now, let me, let, me, let me tell you where I'm going. If you go back to Nigel Clark, um, if you go back to Nigel Clark um, Foundation, in the election years of 2018, we see a large pool of money dumped into um, um, Nigel Clark Charity Foundation in 2018. Which was roughly about twenty-seven million dollars. Twenty-seven million dollars in twenty eighteen, and 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 in twenty twenty, we see a large amount of money again, roughly about thirty, thirty-three or thirty-five, thirty-five million dollars again in twenty twenty dumped in Nigel Clark, um thing. Now the purpose of Nigel Clark Foundation, you have, you have. People in the constituency who are saying that you understand they did not see where you know um, as to the purpose that that was being utilized in the constituency any at all. True. No, no. Here it is clear evidence, right? That the prime minister has created to three of his um um shell company, positive media. Imperium and what the next one? Uh, Estate Bridge. Estate Bridge. Four hundred and seventy-three million dollars. Jamaica want to ask the Prime Minister. Prime Minister, come out and tell me where did this money come from? And guess what? This is the reason why the Integrity Commission investigators have to now recommend this to fit. Because the Prime Minister don't want to explain, you know. 
also there, I forget, I forget which page it is, where there is something, there was talk about him. He's a landlord. He has some a place up in Mona, collecting rent there. But he was, there's another place in the report that talked about them having, he's him building um other property, having developments, you yes. know? So, so you, you, I mean, like I, I said did. before, <laughs> several times I give um, contradictory answers. But answers that him give and what the bank give is completely different. Like, for example, you can tell the bank verbally to make some changes. And the bank said, no, we don't operate like that. It has to be in writing. And and he might insist them, tell them, so they must be done the people. And who's supposed to make the changes? And no, we never get that. That has to do with that to do with the bond. And and he said, oh, I told them that they should have made the changes and blah, blah, blah. And the people them said, no, 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 you never tell us that. That's not how we operate. And then him take the him take the interest, him, him put it on him statutory uh, declaration, and it was only when Integrity Commission come on and said, hey, Mr. Prime Minister, you need to explain this. That was when he come up with this excuse saying that, oh, no, 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 I told him to, to, to do that. Let me see if I, let me see if there's something else here. Let me, let me, let me, there's something else here that I think you, I think I'm going like, hold on a second. Um, I think I'm going like this one now. Hold on. This guy said this guy said it best. Um, here it is. You can play that. Play that and you see what and you hear your album. Um, okay. It only like about two minutes. Maverick. Oh the Maverick. And this is a valid question that Jamaican citizens ought to be asking of your Prime Minister. Now go simplify it for me. Bro God. But that's why you come tell Jamaica how you get richer. And that's that the people want to know. And that the integrity commission want to find out. Know. And that most well thinking, honest, unaligned Jamaicans want to know how a prime minister get so rich while he's in the office. <laughs> name the pump business all over here, so hundreds of thousands of US dollars. Eh? Name the pump account over there, so hundreds and thousands of US dollars. Name the pump offshore business accounts hundreds of thousands of US dollars the people them just want to know how we prime minister get so rich so on a bad mind remember so we live in a culture where people for eat food you know jamaica people are bad man like that you know people for eat food me the public come tell you say we believe people for eat food we see some man make some money you know this and in the world generally and in this right as well when we have to look for them and say yo we rate them man then. Because they do what they do to make their money, you know. And some of the things where they do, me can do, I would not do. I don't have the heart and courage for do. But they do it and make their money. So you see, me personally, as a capitalist, me respect people who make money. But there's a difference when you're a prime minister, your chief servant, your chief proprietor of taxpayers' money. There's a difference when you're the head of the stream. And you get rich. The people them just want to know how the Prime Minister get rich. So. And me just want to say, if the Prime Minister say work hard, the Prime Minister, if say my poor people pick me, board us, Cumberland Road, Spanish Town, him say, we, we respect and we rate the journey. So it's an inspirational journey in the Prime Minister. So even when, even when me personally, I want the Prime Minister to put us clear up that something. Come tell the people how you make them money. Man. Come tell the people them. Make it an inspirational story. <laughs> Ratty. Yeah, so I guess you can follow the pattern the Prime Minister and start make some money too. So then the crime will come down. You see the Magnitsky Act for them to have all? Yes. The Magnitsky Act, there are elements of it in the Integrity Commission's report. So there are parts of it that we can take out and package it properly and yeah. submit it. And we are going to do that. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that, Rati. Yeah. Now, it is extremely serious um, as it relates to the Prime Minister, right? The, the, the Prime Minister have a problem in terms of explaining the source of funds based on, based, based on what uh, we are seeing here. The situation centers around the source of funds, which in journalistic enrichment, right? I mean, for, for, for them and those and the naysayers who are talking, they need to look into, you understand, the document. Read the document properly 
and understand what the document is saying all this thing. Then coming out and try to, you understand, create mayhem and want to have a 1982 point out um, Desmond Mackenzie and you understand the whole oath of evil. Right? I mean, we are not, we are not um, bad mouthing the Prime Minister, bad minding the Prime Minister. What sort of foolishness is this? The fuck of the matter, we are looking at something where the Prime Minister cannot explain his source of wealth. And that is very serious. But also, you look at it, you know, the Prime Minister is his own client as well. When you look at positive media, the JLP is a client, his own constituency is a client. Those things, the morality, they're the ones who like to talk about morals, you know. And he said, Mark Golding, even though the constitution allowed him to have a British passport and sit in the parliament, he said that was incurable and untenable. What does he call this? This a person with 28 bank accounts and businesses just, and just shuffling money here. I mean, you know, like the tree card man. <laughs> How does he explain all people? How did what is the source of your funding? That's all. And if the members of parliament had any integrity whatsoever, they would demand of him that he, if anybody should be hauled before the parliament, it would be him to say, seriously, this is problematic in a country where corruption is rife. This is problematic. We are so we are. One of our brethren just reminded me that Barita is not a lending institution. So Barita wasn't supposed to get no loan. So that's another reason why FTC have to scrutinize them carefully. Where them get that the money they're from and where them game for because them they're not the loan get them not the loan business. So oh boy. Barita is a reminder of Central National Bank, Eagle Merchant Bank, <laughs> and as recent as 2020, uh, was it 2022? Yeah, 2023? Yes. SSL. SSL. So these things are fresh in people's memories. And well, so know, to refer these, make these referrals was the right I see to do. Hold on, hold, hold on a moment. Because as Ratigan just talked about Berita and the Prime Minister, right? And his whole oath of liars. Right, speaking about the People's National Party, about um, Finsa, and here is the Prime Minister as it relates to Berita. Don't deceive. No, let's. Just... We cannot in any way allow the performance of the government to be devalued in the minds of the people. I find it a curious argument that the party that is responsible for Finsa, the greatest devastation of Jamaica's economic base because of great poverty in the country. It's a curious position from a party that decimated Jamaica's middle class, Jamaica's skills and talent, where all those people left the country, not just with their skills and talent, but with their resources. And under their watch, murders the 1,000 threshold and have stayed there since. Curious argument for them to want to rehold the office of government purely on the basis that some time has come. There is no commitment, no vision, nothing has been put forward that would demonstrate that they would be able to handle the challenges that we have had as a government better than how we have done it. Sister Maria and Brother Ratigan, you don't want, it can't get, it can't get, it can't get wicked than this. This man is 100% pure evil. Knowing to the fact that it is, is, Party cast Pinsa. You understand each party cast the, the financial meltdown. Let me let me correct it. You understand that also create Finsa to 
um, to bail out the, um, the situation. Sorry about that, um, Sister Mary. <laughs> right? His party, we are Dan Crawford. Same thing that Andrew Owens now is doing as it relates to Berita. The very same action. The very same action. And that is Andrew Owens telling people, right, not to vote for the People's National Party. Can you imagine? We don't want it. We can't get it. What, what is what is FinSAC? What is FinSAC? FinSAC is a financial sector adjustment company. Okay, it, is, yes. it is not a banking institution. It's an agency to hold them accountable. That's what it is for. And it was yes. set up and they had to step in, in to prevent the Jamaican economy from collapsing totally, given the debacle of Central National. And it was really, it was really focused around two banking institutions. It was Central National Bank, with Don Crawford and the Eagle Group with Paul Chen Young, right? So to, to, that was where the, the uh, that was the nucleus of the, the financial crisis in Jamaica in the nineties. So to prevent it, and people lost their livelihood in those two banks because Central National Bank was operating like Barreto is operating right now. Central National Bank was operating like SSL is operating like right now which caused SSL to also collapse. So FinSAC was created to pre help put in, to put in place legislation to prevent another such crisis. I so FinSAC is a bank. That is the first thing that Andrew needs, and they need to stop behaving like FinSAC is a bank. It is not, it's an, it's an agency to deal with the banking, to hold the banking sector accountable and to put in place checks and balances for the banking sector. So it is, it is disingenuous of um, Andrew Ones to come out and say that. And he, his dear leader was the one who forgot that he had um, a, a, a loan with Central, Central, Central National Bank. And Central National Bank's founder, Don Crawford, he appealed this case all the way up to the Privy Council. And he was still held accountable for it because he still owes the government of Jamaica $45 million. So how can he be, and Central National Bank was favorable to the Jamaica Labour Party. So since he's going down that rabbit hole, we can go down there with him and take him to the earth's crust and show him the facts because the facts do not lie. <laughs>